Welcome to day nine of the Saints of Color Novena. I'm Emmanuel Rinas with the Jesuit Post, and today it is my pleasure to introduce Winnie Sullivan. Hello, my name is Winnie Sullivan. I'm a parishioner at St. Francis Xavier College Church. Today we will be praying with Sister Mary Antona Ebo. Sister Antona was a Franciscan Sister of Mary, best known for her courageous witness as a visible presence of the church during a 1965 civil rights march in Selma, Alabama, and for her advocacy thereafter for racial and social justice. She was also my friend, whom I had the honor of knowing and visiting weekly for two years before she passed in 2017. Sister Antona experienced many trials during her life. Born in 1924 in Bloomington, Illinois, she suffered the loss when she was four years old of her mother. After her father lost his job in the family home during the Great Depression, she and her two siblings were placed in a children's residence where she would live for 12 years. Throughout her life, Sister Antona also struggled with several bouts of physical illness and was hospitalized for extended periods of time, experiences that later influenced her choice to serve others in the field of health care. Finally, as an African American, she lived with racial discrimination as a constant menace during her youth, as she sought to train for a profession, and as she followed her vocation to religious life. Sister Antona's family was Baptist, and one of the earliest examples of her response to God's call was her request as a child of nine to be baptized at her family's church. When she chose to convert to Catholicism at 18 years of age, she did so despite the resistance of several of the adults in her life. Though she would often appear to be a strong-willed, self-directed young woman, confident of her decisions, Sister Antona would readily say that it was only by God's providence and an unshakable reliance on her faith that she was able to survive many tribulations. She also often spoke of a special devotion to Mary, the Blessed Mother, who said yes without knowing all that would be asked of her. To be with Sister Antona was to be in the presence of a holy person. Yet she shared many of the same thoughts and felt many of the same emotions that we all do. She had a wonderful sense of humor, a dry wit, but she could also be impatient. And when confronted with injustice, she could express righteous anger. Recalling these of her qualities reminds us of the humanity of holiness, that it's not an unattainable state, characterizing only the saints of old and removed from our everyday 21st century lives. It's something toward which we can all strive. We must acknowledge the universality of holiness, that holiness can inherit in all people. And so, as we reflect on the life of Sister Mary Antonia Ebo, who followed God's call past many trials to dedicate herself to the compassionate service of others and to stand as a beacon of justice, we ask, Sister Mary Antona Ebo, pray for us. Let us now pray the Novena Prayer together. Almighty Father, we pray as one church through the intercession of these holy people that we may experience a deeper conversion of heart as we seek to imitate the love of your Son, Jesus. Send your Holy Spirit to inflame our hearts with a desire for sanctity and justice. The lives of these virtuous people inspire us to grow in holiness and work toward greater racial reconciliation in a world that is in need of hope and peace. In your name we pray, amen. <laughs> 